I think everybody remembers our crazy assistant coach in college. He looks into my eyes and says, get my first. If there's not enough money for them, piss on them. <laughs> Remember whenever we were in college and you walked me out of the shower, right? Okay, 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 no. And you said, that's still kind of impressive. No. <laughs> You ever looked at yourself in the mirror while you're drying off? Oh, it's the. The You Should Know Podcast. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, episode 65. Round of applause, please. I was like going with the claps, you know, get like my head was going back, like the claps were making my head go back. Hey everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, episode 65. God, it's just, it's the best part of the week every week when we're able to come here, sit down and talk to the best family on YouTube, and that is the You Should Know family. And if you're not a part of the You Should Know family, let me tell you how to become it. If you look below, you see that subscribe button isn't pressed, you're wrong. If you look even more below that, you see that comment section isn't fulfilled with your name, guess what? Even more on. Go ahead and fill that out. We have an announcement. It seems like every week we have more and more and more announcements. That's because of y'all's loyalty and because of y'all's love for the You Should Know podcast. But you know how we have a live show June 30th, Southside Music Hall, Dallas, Texas. The fun's not going to end at Southside Music Hall that night. Oh, no, it's not. There's some more fun to be had after the show. If you're 21 and up, the after party is officially announced it's at pm lounge on north henderson avenue i believe after party immediately after the live show as soon as we're done making the funnies on stage get your ass in that uber or in that car go straight to pm lounge and we're all gonna have fun together as a big you should know family yes it is 21 and up but it is a completely free event there is availability for an upgraded package which the prices aren't out yet but if you want updates on the prices for the upgraded package be sure to follow me on instagram at psh8 the you should know podcast instagram account and co-host cam's instagram account cam kennedy 22 but in that package you are able to skip the line and you get a free drink when you get inside that sounds like a great package deal to me but if you don't want to it's a completely free event 21 and up pm lounge June 30th, right after our show, Dallas, Texas, Southside Music Hall. That leads me into the next announcement. We just hit 2 million followers on TikTok. Round of applause for 2 million followers on TikTok. That is insane. Now, I feel like 2 million is a fake number. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think there's 2 million of anything out in this world. So the fact that there's 2 million of y'all that decided to click that follow button on TikTok, we are forever, forever grateful for you. Thank you so much. Here's to 3 million if you want to. We're happy with 2 million. But if you want to keep following us and spreading the word and spreading the message of the You Should Know podcast and making the family grow and grow and grow, y'all are growing connections every day in that Discord and the Patreon and the YouTube comments and the Spotify comments. Thank you so much for all the love. We love you. Shout out to 2 million. Thank you for 2 million. And now let's get on with the rest of the episode. I have a question. What's more American than a bald eagle? Get it? A bald eagle? The 4th of July is almost here, and that means a couple of things. Barbecues, pool parties, and last but not least, glizzies. My favorite part. And it just so happens the sponsor of today's show is Manscaped. Manscaped's making sure all of the glizzy gladiators across the nation are groomed for battle on America's birthday. From sea to shining sea, join over 8 million Pew Patriots worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer to you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with our code PSH at manscaped.com. Talk about an American dream. It's only right to start off with America's favorite, the Performance Package 4.0. Inside this package, you'll find their lawnmower 4.0, weed whacker, ear and nose, hair trimmer, crop preserver, ball deodorant, crop provider toner, performance boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold your goodies. So... Take your freedom bells to the next level by going to manscaped.com and get 20% off with free shipping with our discount code PSH. Get your independence back this Independence Day and unlock your confidence with Manscaped. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. Ooh, we got co-host Cam back in the studio. It's like a little hey, game of was, peaky boo. That was pretty good though. Did like you? I was trying to, I, I really couldn't see because I had my eyes closed because I don't cheat in life. So I was, I was truly like, I said, I don't cheat. In you life. do. I don't cheat. You do. What do I cheat on? 
Uh, you went through your whole college career doing a uh, fake breath. Oh <laughs> That's this, against NCAA this, rule. I never had help breathing. You have asthma at a collegiate level. When I was ten, I needed a lot of help. I need the freezer. I need my mom's help. I need that damn. I had tubes, bro, like liquid medicine. I put into a machine oh and purified God. it into a gas. Took said gas into lungs. Now I can breathe. Do you think we would have been friends? I played flag football and I had to go home and take a freezer shower. Like I literally had to before I bathed. I had to go like this. You. They had to treat you like Captain America. They oh, put was, you in the yeah, eyes. It was, it was bad. It was really bad. Do you think we would? Do you think? We oh. The fact you hitched for that shit, you literally went, do you think we would have, like, you, your whole, you said, that's Nazar. Excuse me. That's the, don't you ever, excuse me. That's oh, my, don't that's, you dare. That's my thing. Don't, oh, oh, it's starting to, it's starting to smell like a little P.U. over here. It's starting to smell like a little yucky. You smell like a golly. It smell like yesterday. Good Lord, you smell like, stop having so much fun. You smell like, you eat clean, don't you? Dude, that no, is the thing. people that. Oh my god! I've been yeah, eating cleaner. Yeah, we have. But dude, people that eat clean, your their oh, farts putrid. Oh my god! But I have it's been eating cleaner, and now I've been farting and running from myself. Bro, it is bet me the other day when we were up here. Oh my god! Oh. Cam came into the studio the other day, and we were working on something that cannot be named. I just chose violence. And we had to be on, like we had to be, like we were working, right? And Cam literally like put oh. a bomb in the studio oh. from his rectum. It was so bad. I don't like it. I mean, it was straight up like Knox gas. Like it would have killed you. But I, but I love you, and, uh -huh. and your scent is my scent. No. For See, I would have said yes, but then you said the last part. I okay. can't agree to that. All right. That wasn't mutual. Like, it's not mutual. We're not relating right now. Every, okay. Your scent's bad. It, but I'm going to put you my ass. My ass scents are bad. There's no doubt about it. When you pooed. Yes. I'm talking like your nine to five, though, <laughs> is just not... Like, your nine to five is only two notches below my fart. Think about that. Okay. I literally go... <laughs> and then you just go like this. Is only two notches. I'm just below. walking. Yeah, I'm you're just, just walking. You're just living life, and it's like okay. But I have a, I have a hypothetical. I'm for just you. He doesn't smell that bad. No, I do. Well, it's smelling right now. I was trying to save you. I'm wet. I'm not smelling. You are wet. It's no. Very hot. Okay, but I have a hypothetical for you. So hot. So hot. Oh I have a hypothetical for you. Let's hear it. Right. Say wrong. You are the. <laughs> you are responsible for my life, right? Oh shit! If you don't do this, I perish. What are we? Am I sucking your tongue again? What is like? What is? No, we do that. Rec we do that recreationally now. Okay. You want to do it on camera? It's too hot for that. It's too hot. It's, it'll get a little more hot. What's your problem? It's a little dude? steamy, it's huh? every episode. It's every episode. There's a whole... Con I hope you know there's an entire like conspiracy out. Oh, really? That, of us that's like... I would love to read it. Send it to me on DM. Don't but you Don't you wink at them when we're talking but about But you them. like... Oh, that's for you. My winks are only Back for you. Back to you perishing. What okay. Is, what is <laughs> you wish. So... <laughs> What is that? Oh, crumble? Oh, so uh, so say you're responsible for my life. If you didn't do this next thing I'm about to say, I, I'm i done. Okay. Every time I poot, you have to put your nose to my rectal cavity. You're dead. You are deceased. You are deceased as hell. Matter of fact, I'd be front row at the funeral hell. I'd give you a eulogy. I'd give you a little speech. You think I'm putting my nose on your sphincter. Yeah. After you poot. You don't have to make contact. No. At least two centimeters. No. No. Cameron. No, you know how much? So you you would literally see me d d perish in front of you. Yeah, for the rest of my life. Yes, that means one, I have to be in close proximity of you forever. Two, I have to sn imagine this. Imagine I'm at my house. You go. You have to call me, and you go, Cam. I'm about to fart, dog. Yeah, like, that's what it would be. I'd have to get in my damn vehicle to drive to your house to sniff your ass. Yeah, we that's could be, not happening. No, we could all be roommates. It's not happening. We could all roommates. be roommates. We could be roommates. I'd be your sniff partner. Your sniff partner. No, it's not happening. You are my sniff bubba. No, no. You must no, sniff. I'm not. I bet somebody... Okay, in the no, comments right now, this is a crazy call to action. Yeah. <laughs> if good, you would yeah, save what? my life and do that for me, put it in the comments. That's... Don't... I, I need to see like eight people say that. I'd if sniff there's it. any more than 10, then we have we have problems. We I would have. literally, to save your life, I would literally use that as a cologne. I would I would put I would put a you cologne bottle use. right on your, on your rectum and close it and then use it before date nights and be like, smell me, that's Cam. No, they'd be like, oh, that's Cam. And then I call you on the phone and I go, that's not me. That's my Alfredo from two nights ago. Enjoy it. Oh, Cam. Yeah. Cameron. Yeah, you want to make it cute? I'm going to make it Nazar. Cameron. Nazar. How are you doing, Bubba? Uh, I'm pretty good. Why is your shoe already off? I don't know. That's it's like a natural end. thing. Leave it on. I just get naked. Leave, yeah, you really do. And there's actually Why been are you looking at me so hard? Blink, dog. What do you mean? <laughs> Yo, blink. What do you mean? 
I'm just looking. No, I swear to God, you haven't blinked in like four minutes. What are you talking? <laughs> but no, it was like uncomfortable. It's like you had a tracking device on your eyes. You're like, uh, like, I, like I had a keyboard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> keyboard, you dumbass. <laughs> no, uh, several people have noticed you stripping a lot, actually. Really? My mom actually said we were on a conversation the other week. She was like, "Is it like, is it just super hot in there? Or Peyton's always just getting naked?" And I'm like, I'm like, I mean, it's it, okay. It is hella hot. It's like, so hot. It here. is, I, dude. It's so, it is, and the scary part is we haven't even hit July. Oh it's, my God. It, it's so damn hot. On the way up here, I saw a bird blow on a worm before he ate it. That's how hot. Like, it is, it is so hot, bro. It is ridiculous. <laughs> it is, it's insane. Like, that's funny as hell. Do birds have lips? They have beaks. Does that count as a lip? It's a beak. I guess it could be like a stone lip. A stone lip. Do birds have stone lips? <laughs> that's a beak. We may, hey, we can we can trademark that, make something out of it. But what don't ever it? give you me your, my, don't you, ev no, don't ever give me your hand that soft again. I'm a graceful man. What was that? I'm a graceful man. But you're not a woman. I literally said, we can do that, and you went like this. Look, go shake my hand. No, see, what the hell is that? Stop doing that. Let him hang. Be a man. <laughs> I let it hang. I, I, li I literally go, hey, shake my Oh, it's over the shoulder. Stop. I literally said, shake my hand. We could trademark that. Go to shake my hand. No, go to <laughs> shake my hand, princess. You look like this. Yeah. Like I was the queen of England. I, I, I like to think of myself as a, a royal. She's dead. Oh, R.I.P. Yeah, sorry. I like to think of myself as a royal. A royal. Yeah, you got to think of yourself as more than you are. Uh, I got to think of myself as extremely realistic and unbelievably average. I am one person out of eight billion. I'm not a royal. But that makes you special. Did it you, does make me you're special. You're the only one with that big of a head. What's, what are we doing? I know a lot of people with larger heads. It's, isn't it crazy to think there's, there's probably over 100,000 human beings with the same size head as me? Not including, like not including people that have bigger heads. My exact head size, there's 100,000 people. No, already. that's customized. God customized. 100,000 people minimum have this size head. Think about that. It's kind of scary. Why would I think There's about that? There's at least 2 million people. Can we go back people. to your mom talking There's about There's at least being 2 naked? million people that stink like you. At least. I want to stink. You just sniffed. Day. I saw that. You didn't. You can't hide that. I said that and you went... Like you tried to check yourself. I saw that. No, my mom, we were talking on the phone. You don't ever... You, do you ever... I'm so sorry. Do you ever go between... You know that... that no. I don't ever swipe debit or credit and give it a sniff test. No. No, but like on accident. No. Do you ever like, you know the, the part between your thigh and your manhood? Yeah. That little like, that that wiry crevice? That, that little like, that little hallway, that little... That little, <laughs> that little canal. Yeah, that little, that little, that little back corner. You know whenever you're resting, right? When yeah. you nap and you put it in there? You don't put your pants in oh your pants when you nap? No, I thought you... Oh no. Put, yeah, I was like, yo, what are you... <laughs> no, I don't penetrate. Take it so I was going, a sick I was going like this, right? Yeah. Liv oh. always asks me, why do I do that? It's a man thing. It really is. Like, if you go to take a nap, and you're just, you're just right here. Like, Oh, my God. It's so warm. But mine's warm and wet. Like, kind of like a bayou. No, you are a bayou. You smell like a bayou. Anyway, your mom said I was naked. Yeah, she did. She was like, uh, da, 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 da. You know, it was such a great episode. I watched it. And is it like, why does Peyton keep taking his shirt off? Like, he's just, he's always naked every episode. And I go, well, it is really hot. And he's also just a naked guy. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I, I love being naked. It's your most primal, like, self. It's your instinct. Yeah, it's just like. <laughs> oh, like you just look yeah. at yourself in the mirror. But I can't scratch Naked. my back on walls. Ooh, I hate it. I love it. You have so much back meat. No, oh. <laughs> but you go. You, oh my god, there's nothing like a sharp corner, and you just. But you, the way my. Oh my god, and then it goes right over the bone. That's like, the thing I hate my bones. I love it so much. I, you hate, have, my, I hate your bones too. I've, but you have it right on your bone, and it goes. Oh, like, fuck. It, it goes over, and then it's getting the meat. Oh no, please God, no. And you're sitting there, and then you oh, get. Please. But then. Instead of going like this, yeah. Instead of going, do we have audio listeners? I don't know what you're doing. Well, instead of going side to side, just meat to meat, keeping the sharp corner on your meat, you got to keep. That's what this I'll put always my sharp happens. Corner on your meat. This always happens. You got to like keep doing it. Oh. So you go, rub that bone. Yeah. Pops it over. It, it, it gives like a sensation. With it. I want to be like my dad sometimes. I want to be like your dad too. So sometimes, but, cool cat. but when I was growing up, he would always do that because he always he has he's like built like a T Rex, right? Big body, yeah. little arms. <laughs> So he's like, he would always go through the house like this. <laughs> he's like, come here, son. And so he can't reach his back, right? So he he couldn't do this. Shoulder as high as he can go. And so to scratch, that means, his, that means he has 
Massive biceps. Yeah. That's where I get it. So, and then he would always find corners of the wall and he'd look like a grizzly bear, like so, that. And so I was like, I'm mom, wanna, mom, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> and so I would want to be like my dad. So I would go to a wall and then I cut myself real bad and I had blood in my you crack. See, your dad is man. Yeah. You were frail. I am boy. Yeah. You are very, you are adolescent. You know how we were talking about how it's really hot here, It's right? unbelievable. Like, my, my legs are sweating. It's disgusting. I shouldn't walk outside and get angry at environment. It, just life. It makes me so mad when people don't understand weather food. When they don't understand what? Like weather food. Food. You're like, we're talking about food now. Yeah. Food. What the hell is weather food? Like somebody offered me pancakes during summertime. Pissed me off. They have to understand that's inappropriate. How is... I, is there a... You're talking about seasonal food? There's food that belongs in certain weathers. You know what I mean. You're don't, pissing me off. Oh my god, that just er <laughs> You're talking about like <laughs> You can eat a pancake 365 days out of the year. No, 100%. No shot. Dude, a pancake is like the flannel of the food community. You can't wear that in the heat. You're not wearing the pancakes. You're not if you're putting if you're putting pancake batter on you, you're a freak. You're like the little peanut butter kid. Uh, you're like like that little guy. You're, you can eat a pan Are you eating it outside? You is, there could, a, is there a pancake fundraiser? There's certain foods that you immediately eat. I'm warm now. Uh, if they're if you're eating scorching magma hot pancakes, and you have another problem. You don't sweat when you eat pancakes. What pancakes are you eating, dog? What are you, what are we doing? Fluff. What do you have like a a, a chimichurri sauce on your pancakes? Don't even know what that is. Uh, hot, you're putting Louisiana hot sauce on your pancakes. You can't eat anything that's. Why is your pancake raising your body temperature? What are we doing? You can't eat anything fluffy in the summertime. You know what I mean? App oh my god. Like a, oh my god, I almost got mad. <laughs> like a waffle in the summertime? Fine. What the hell is the difference? The indents. The indents. It adds air circulation <laughs> in air ducts and, vi and you, ventilation. You understand, right? When you put it on something you put in your mouth and it makes you hot. Don't argue with me. If you were drinking boiling water in the summer <laughs> outside, I could maybe see what you're saying. A it's a pancake. It's breakfast. I've had pancakes the last three mornings. Oh my god! It's summer. We have not seen a, a this, this weather food forecast shit is not a thing. It's oh. we haven't seen a degree lower than ninety eight, and you're eating pancakes. What is wrong with that? That's sick behavior. Are you the Joker? <laughs> so you so you <laughs> like who eats like that? You sick freak! I'm sitting there with like a monocle. I'm like ah, <laughs> Joker doesn't so, have a monocle. Well, back in the old days, maybe he might have. I don't know. Anyway. So you can't eat, so by the same premise, you can't eat cold shit in the winter? No, of course you can. Then what, what kind of fallacy little <laughs> thing are you giving me? You're not me? understanding me. It's not about the temperature, it's about the food. I'm not understanding you because weather food isn't real. Yes, if it's too fluffy, it makes you hot, right? That's like eating, that's like, that's like, that's like, that's like walking around the streets downtown, 98 degree weather, you're drinking a chai. You know what I mean? You belong under the prison. That's sick behavior. Okay, then I, I, I'm probably belong dead now because the last three mornings I've had protein pancakes. Oh my God. Two weeks ago, I went to Starbucks at 4 p.m. and I got a chai tea latte. Cam, you ate protein pancakes. Pro yes, that's yes. It's an easy way to get more in. Not only did you eat the worst summer food, you added more dryness to it. You belong under the prison. Who's your pancake guy? Because you're, you're not eating good pancakes. Whoever's been making pancakes for your whole life, you're not, if they're dry, that dry to where you're, it's the flannel, it's a, butt, it's a cardigan of this summer. I'm not going to lie. Pancakes are gas. You can eat them 365, 24-7. I, I might be a little biased on this because I don't like pancakes in general. I don't eat pancakes. Yeah, you said waffles were acceptable because they have divots. Pancakes made me gag. See, I knew it. There's not certain foods that make you gag? I knew it. I do. I... Uh, Cameron Kennedy does a podcast with an 11 year old. It's it's confirmed. I knew it. You're not who you claim to be. Wait, pancakes don't make you gag? Dog, no. It's a pancake. What foods? There's, but there's certain. How soft is your mouth? How weak are you? You know, it's you when it's. You gag at a pancake? No, it's not like I can't chew it. It's just like the texture makes me feel like I'm closed up. You know what I mean? It makes me feel like I cut two fingers in stop the back of my that. throat. Stop doing that. That's a, such a weird scene. <laughs> it's sentence. like I'm not going like that. Every yeah, no. <laughs> the 21 Jump Street scene. It's like every time I put a pancake in my mouth, it's like, uh-oh, something's coming up now. You know what I mean? Honestly, I'm not even surprised this because I'm talking to a, a cave dweller. You eat beef for breakfast. Like literally, see, he doesn't... Okay. Guys, he doesn't even put the beef with like eggs. He just makes a bowl of beef. That's another thing that makes me gag. Eggs. 
I don't like eating baby yolk. You're a bitch. I don't know what else to say. Like, I, you're pissing me off. <laughs> baby yolk? Yeah, I don't like eating fertilized meat. You're... Oh my god. You are... Cr weather food's not real. That's not a thing. I hate everyone that says that. 100% You is can't... No, you can't... In the winter, if I want a Slurpee, ice cold Slurpee, brain freeze is just waiting to happen, I'm drinking in the That's winter. That's perfect. I love eating cold in the, in the weather. I, lo I love eating cold in the winter. <laughs> what are we doing? Cold in the winter, completely acceptable. What is happening? And you get a good bite of your ice cream? Mm. I don't think this is anything. Did you say bite your ice cream? Oh, 100%. You don't bite he your ice cream? He just said bite his ice cream. You don't bite your ice cream? If I bit my ice cream, I'd need to get in a Tesla Roadster and go 180 miles an hour straight to a dentist. My two front teeth would literally die. Wait, how do you eat your ice cream? Oh, sh what motion is that? I'm just telling you, you kind of just suck it down until it melts. So you just, you just tongue, you just- If there's chunks of cookies or, or cakes or confetti in there- No, maybe, say you have a vanilla cone. Confetti? Say you have a vanilla cone, right? What are you doing? You're just licking it to death? 100%. Oh my God, Cam, that's so much work. You're chomping cream. You got a strong tongue. You're ch and you got a weak ass esophagus. I got strong teeth. You don't bite your- Dude, grow up. Me grow up. You yes. said uh, you just said a pancake is a is the flannel of food. It is. It's a warm. It's a warm treat. And I have to grow up because I don't bite ice cream. And, oh my god! And if you're putting syrup on your pancakes, that's like an extra coat. That's like you're putting like that's sunblock on you. That's disgusting. You're a murderer. <laughs> you are an absolute fruit. <laughs> How, okay. Hell no. I was what? about to move on. How do you eat your waffles then? I eat, I eat my waffles dry and plain. I'm not a condiment guy. You're not a condiment guy. Condiments make things weird for me. So you don't put you don't put condiments on sandwiches. You don't put condiments on breakfast items. You oh, don't put no. condiments on like corn dogs. You don't put condiments on anything. No, especially not my hot dogs. You eat dry hot dogs. Oh my god, a dry hot dog. <sighs> and I belong under the prison. Yes. You you are the warden of the prison. Like you work at the prison. You are a snitch. If you Oh my god, people that put put condiments on hot dogs, I feel like they feel like they're better than people. We, need, we need to leave right now. <laughs> we need to go get a hot dog right now. Order three hot dogs. No, I'm saying, like, people that put ketchup, mustard, no brand loyalty, and then you put relish on a hot dog? No, Bro no, relish, you're, you're a killer. You are an absolute freak. Dude, I don't eat anything with a condiment. Do you, you go to my fridge right now, you'll never find a condiment. You won't find much in that fridge, but <laughs> you, you don't put... Ketchup or mustard on a hot dog? No, never once have I ever. I've never tried it. There's something. There's actually something wrong with you. Why? You're, you're sucking down dry glizzies with a swiftness too. You're just sitting there, oh, and yeah. it's gone to the you're, back oh, of my throat. Do you, see, you're doing it. You're doing it. You need to quit. <gasps> a dry hot. That's like, that's equivalent to taking a, a spoon of peanut butter. Oh, don't get me started on the peanut butter. I, you're, you're in the same category. I now. feel like if you put, if you put condiments. On a hot dog, you're selfish. How is that selfish? You're not appreciating the meat. Okay, are you cracking crab legs? What what hot dog is this? No, you open the bun and you stick your tongue in between the in between in between the meat and the bun, and then you got all the flavor of the juice of the uh, of the hot dog, and then the the crisp of the bun. It's that's enough flavor you need. You mean to tell me? <laughs> not only is your hot dog dry as shit, not only are you not putting a condiment on it. You just told me. Yeah. You're layering your mouth mm -hmm. with crunch bread, tongue, mm -hmm. hot dog water, then hot dog. I put my tongue is a part of the patty now. My tongue is a part of the meal. <laughs> I am, I am perplexed. Why? How are you alive at this point? How are you breathing? Oh my God! Are you one? And you're probably one of those people that while the hot dogs in your mouth, you're putting beverage in while you're biting. If you have to. Oh my. Cameron, if you, you just said you tongue a dry glizzy. I tongue everything. My, it's close to my mouth. You are a gargoyle. You are an absolute freak. You are an absolute. You're a demon. You already know how I eat my burgers. And I put my in between all the lettuce and all that, and then I put my thing in there, and it's like that. And so you get all the flavors. You need to quit. You need to quit. A dry. No, I'm not gonna lie. That might that might be the craziest shit you've ever said about food. A dry hot dog. Dry hot dog. That is almost like hard to do. You know who does? You know who eats dry hot dogs? Who? The people that do the hot dog contest. You know what they put in their mouth? Gallons of water. Ew. Ga That's like a pond. No one. No one. You. 
This is, I'm perplexed. Cam, it's not that weird. You eat a dry hot dog with no condiments and you don't drink while you eat it. No. And you have the nerve to tell me that my mouth is dry when I eat pancakes with syrup. You're hot though. Your mouth is the Sahara. If I if if my, if my mouth's dry, your your mouth is like earth, like mantle crust. But at least my like sediment. But at least erosion. My, but at least my body is cool. You're hot and sweating. I'm. How do you know? If you're outside, you're hot and sweating too. No. I'm cool, right? My tongue layering between that meat and the bun. I'm cool. I'm cooling it down. It's regulating that body temperature with that tongue. But if I were to put some like condiments on that, I'm immediately hot. What the hell even is a what is a mustard? What plant you get mustard from? If <laughs> what even the hell is a mustard? You know what I mean? That's a hell of a question. Would you you just squeeze Big Bird? If you don't do that. If you big oh my god, don't you do no 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 get off get off me no 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 who doesn't get it for, yes sit down you're disgusting. If the way you eat your hot dogs, you are one hiccup away from being a, a glizzy gladiator. If you're sitting there lining your the hot dog with your tongue and you go, it goes, it's gone. It's it's down the pipe. Like, like at a bank. When you send the thing back, it goes. How far do you put like a corn dog in your mouth you, before you, you, you bite? Stop, I'm asking you a serious question. How far do you put the corn dog in your mouth before you bite? Honestly. Probably like an inch. <laughs> and I bite to the side just for extra safety. Oh, you're so you're so not confident in yourself. Now, popsicles. No popsicles. <laughs> now I don't. I'm not one of those people that think ever, about that. You ever tested yourself with popsicle? I test myself all the time. I'm a champion. <laughs> can we cut that out? I can't even. Can we cut that? Are we gonna keep? That was too confident. <laughs> no, you're a freak bag. You're an absolute freak. You eat dry hot dogs, and you have the nerve to get onto me for eating pancakes in the summer. That's yeah. that is bullshit. Do you ever feel like you're in a video game? <laughs> this guy, like I, like you're not in control. <laughs> I am in utter control of my life. It is me and God. Yeah. We are a tag team duo. He has a controller and I have a smaller <laughs> controller and we're just going for it. But do you ever feel like you ever do something? No one else is controlling me in my movements. Do you ever feel like you like grab something that you didn't want to? Like, like he's... And you're like, that's not me. What does that mean? Do you ever like grab some salt, right? No. And I, I didn't want salt. And that's because you, you're, something's unplugged up and here. And I was like, oh, you did it this time. He's making you grab salt, right? Though, no, though. You, you ever feel like wrong? Like, no, but like you know what I mean. No, like you don't control <laughs> your legs. Like you, you like you say you're walking down a street, right? And you make a right turn. I had no desire to go down that street. No, you are you are an artifact. You are an absolute artifact. <laughs> no, you, you make need, me no, you feel need, bad. You need to be studied. Why? You think you're in a video game. Someone's controlling you. Is Sometimes. What you're Sometimes you feel like someone's controlling you. But that's just the that's just the first layer of it. What's the other layer of it? Like the people around me. Like everything, people around you aren't real. Though there's some people that give off huge NPC vibes. No, but sometimes I'm looking at you. Oh no, <laughs> I'm a very playable character, and I'm being played by Cameron Kennedy. You, if you're a video game yeah. character, who in their right mind is spending their VC on secretion of fear, ultra anxiety, frail rib cage, and in sniffing like? <laughs> Who's spending their VC on that? Who's upgrades? Who's upgrades is beef breakfast and a lisp. Who spends their coins on that? And what level are you on? What level? Because if you're a video game, that, that has to be the intro. Like, you are on level one. <laughs> Who is, who's playing you? They're the worst player ever. They're the worst player ever. It could ever. be like a six-year-old. Like, it, it, it has to be a young guy. He's clicking, but he's button mashing. And that's why you're just like, oh, beef, 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 beef. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you're not... Who's spinning their coins on that? No, There's but, no way. Right, but that I feel... It has to be the worst upgrade package ever. But do you ever... But... <laughs> they, go, they go to the clothes shop. It's just black. Every option they have. I want that black shirt and those black shoes. And I'll take three of those black pants. Oh, my God. <laughs> right, though? You get oh it, though, right? Oh, my God. Absolutely not. You ever get it like... Oh, shit. That like, was funny. like, you ever feel like tomorrow is oh. going to be a big mission? <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't know who the final boss is tomorrow. You ever look at life like that? Like, there's bosses? <laughs> no. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, my God. Dude, my mind is going like a thousand miles a minute right now. <gasps> and I'm in control of it. Me. That is unreal. I feel like a lot of people feel this way about themselves. That's crazy. Like, you know, sometimes when I'm talking to you, I see, like, options for replies. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Then that means you often pick the wrong one. Your players, your oh my god, that's what it is. That's what it is. Your player is playing the game in a different language. He thinks he's choosing the right thing, but he's not. <laughs> he's playing it in a different like it lo like it was a it was a domestic game, but he loaded it where he is, and it's not the same language. Oh shit! He thinks he's picking like yeah, upgrade, and it's like like downgrade. Whatever. No, there's no whatever after that. So what's your player doing right now? Figuring it out. Yeah, just took a, took a piss break. You just went from life, and you're like, he's just relaxing. You're just. Now I gotta go to the energy station and fuel up. Oh my, yeah, you do. I don't know. I need to know in the comments because I feel like everybody here in the studio. Absolutely it, not. Everybody's like, oh, let's make fun of Payne. Let's make him feel bad. But every time I read comments, I got some freaks in there with me. That's absolutely not. Some no. some dry glizzy got gladiator video game playing. No, no, that's different. All right, sorry, perfect cam. Sorry, oh my player, my my creator put all the right VC in my hip and my nasty toe and my big head. Oh, I'm uneven when I walk. If <laughs> <laughs> if I walked uneven, bro, you, I would allow you. No, it's because your head is like I oh too much this side. Oh 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 oh. And if it's a bad hip day, if I walked uneven, I wouldn't allow y'all to be my friends. Like there's no, I would just have to be solo. No, that I mean, sorry. Before you say anything else, if you had to pick one body part of mine to switch with you, what would you pick? Oh my god. Uh, I would want you to have my leg. Oh god, I could take a leg, maybe an arm. An arm. Well, I could take an arm. What would you do with it? Uh, maybe your hands. Maybe your soft hands. What would you do if I gave you my leg? I if I had your leg, hell, I'd be. I'd be uneven this shit. I'd have one. I'd have like a bionic leg of mine and like a gimp leg of yours. That, <laughs> then I'd really be walking uneven. It'd be like power struggle, power struggle, power struggle. Like it'd be bad. I couldn't run. I couldn't run any distance. No, you would like it because you're like finally my hip feels normal. Ooh, I can have a good. Come on, dog. What? <laughs> I'm blurring that. I know one part of me you'd want. You need to quit that. You need to quit that. And then you're diabolical. Oh, my God. That just made me think of something. What? We went to Oklahoma this weekend for Father's Day. Okay. First off, shout out all the fathers. Hey, Dad. Love you, Pops. What's up, Pops? Big Mike. Fat Mike. Fat Everybody. with a P, not with an F, Dad. You know you're not fat. Shush. It's fat, fat Mac. Like, you're dope. Anyway, shout out all the dads. Father's Day. We went to Oklahoma for Father's Day, right? Right. Dude, <laughs> when I tell you. So we get there. We pull up to Liv's dad's house. There's a sign in his yard, and it literally says, if your dog shits in my yard, I'm going to shit in yours. <laughs> says that word for word, all right? You know, my father-in-law is a big black man. Like, yes. could you imagine waking up one day and opening your blinds, <laughs> and there's a big black man <laughs> squatted over, literally taking a shit in your front yard? You, you know how unhinged society would be at that point? Sit Yo, there your just, dad is big. Like, I imagine him like, squatting in your lawn. Like, this is like, this is like, he's looking at you just shitting in your yard. You make eye contact and he, he does the foot thing like dogs. <laughs> Yo, you'd have oh, to. Shit. What would you do? You'd have to call police. I'd probably pass out. You'd have to call police. I, I think I'd be so much in shock that I couldn't even <laughs> react. Um, but like, legit. If you wake up and you're like, I'm gonna go get some morning sun. You go. <laughs> There's just a big ass guy taking a shit in your yard. You know, it's big ass crouched, quads like crouched are over, and like he's like semi comfy, and he's just like. Looking at you. Oh, my God. What if you made eye contact? Oh, no. What do you do? Kill him. <laughs> you, oh, yeah. You have to. You have to call the police to hopefully get him arrested, but also m m for a possible homicide <laughs> at that point. That's insane. Yeah. Who cleans it? But he said that the crazy part is he said, all right. He was like, motherfuckers keep testing me. He said, I've, ever since I put my sign up, a couple dogs been shitting in my yard. He said, I know they're doing it because it's right by the sign. And he was like, they're going to see something. You got to put a ring camera out there I'm like, and I'm like, I'm like, you can't. I'm like, Papa T, you cannot go, no, you're going to you prison. Cannot go shit in someone's you're yard. You're going to prison. He's like, all right, they got to stop trying me then. <laughs> got to stop trying you. I That's, like that. That is, that is, that is the most menace to society thing ever. Did if you would, if you watched someone like they, le they they let their dog poop and you're like, bet. And you get in your car, you kind of follow them a little bit, and then later the next morning you wake up and go shit in their yard. Dude, that's sick. No, oh my God. I think if you if you have the wherewithal to make that drive to their house and then still commit to the act oh, when no, you're yeah. on the lawn, yeah. you're a 
different kind of human being. You're something's unplugged in your diabolical. Head. Like, yeah, that's that is menace. Bro. I clog a lot of toilets. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I've it's gone. It's because you wait too long to poop. No. Yes. I can't control it. <laughs> yes, you can. I cannot control my bowels. You, but you, yes, you can. No, I can. It goes when it wants. No, no, it doesn't. Yes, you, it. Hey, you can tell you, me about my rectal cavity. Because we'll be out for seven hours. You're like, I can't poop till I get back to the house. I'm like, yeah. Wait, so you got to poop right now? Yeah. Yeah. Go take a shit. No. Long as that's <laughs> controlling them. No. Yeah, it literally is controlling. At them. first it was, but now my body knows this is foreign land. You can't poop here. See, my my thing is so tight until I'm over a comfortable toilet. Once I'm in like a home environment, my thing it's is open. Moses. It's oh my god! It's the red. <laughs> it just <laughs> that's disgusting. But I, every time I go to like a friend's house and I go to a foreign toilet, I know I'm clogging it. I don't know what it is. How much toilet paper do you use? Enough. <laughs> Probably too much. No. Let's be honest here. Don't you fucking lie to me. Oh, I can't do this with you because you you don't look at your toilet paper. So you're probably always got some doo-doo marks on there. No. <laughs> but, like, honestly, on average, how many times, if you were to look, right, and okay. you just see a little smudge, right? Just a little bit of a little, like, oh, there's still, there's a little bit. He's, he's, he's here. Like, just a little bit? Yeah. Define little, though. Like a little, like uh Like very, like very like, small. Like, like, a, like a little inch of a little streak on the toilet paper. Are you walking out? Are you confident in that act? No, I go one more and then I go. But what if there's still like a little bit? Are you going to perfection? Like you could resell oh, I don't check it. on the last one. <laughs> if I see a slight inch, maybe a couple centimeters, I see it. I'm like, all right, bet. One more will do the job. Do so it. So you're just you're I, trusting I, I, I the will process. Literally go, I'll literally go. Flush and I stand up and I'm gone. You're, so you're just trusting the process. I have ultimate confidence in myself. Yeah. <laughs> Cam, I want you to do something when you go to home. When, okay. Next time you poop, please look at it. Clog the toilet? <laughs> no, no, no. Honestly. Please look at it, and you will know you've been wrong your whole life. You've yeah. been like, my ass is that of a glue gun. <laughs> if, <laughs> like, I've been walking a out. glue gun? You're like a s'more back there. If I, a, no, hell no. If I, if there's ever, like, noticeable shit, I'm wiping, obviously. But you said there's an itty bitty streak. But you, so you're satisfied like with that. Like a little skid mark. Yeah, like, you're, like you're, you're satisfied with a car. skid. No, if there's a skid, I'm satisfied with yeah. doing one more, and then yeah. I don't even check. You know what we should do? I know I got that skid. You know what we should do for Patreon? Wipe our ass and film it? No. We should both spend 24 hours in white underwear. <laughs> and then at the end of the day... Easily. I will easily win. I will easily win. That's a crazy content idea. Can we flip it? I will easily win. <laughs> you think so? Yes. They have to be brand new white. Yeah. I will easily win. Da da. Comment down below if you want to see us if do the, no. the the uh, uh underwear challenge, twenty four hour whitey tidy challenge. If you wipe like you normally wipe, you'll lose. No one's allowed to like change any habits. Yeah. All right. It's so you can't start life. looking at your toilet paper. So we wake up, shower, put underwear on, and then go to the end of the day. Oh, that means I have to shower that day. That should never be a sigh. That so should never showering be. Showering is a lot of effort. Showering shouldn't be a chore. It is sometimes. It should be a choice. It should be rejoice. No, showering is tough sometimes. It's a lot of effort. See, I knew it. What? I knew it. That's, that doesn't make sense. What? You, you treat showering as if it's doing the, the dishes. Like, damn it, I gotta go clean myself. No. I, don't I take showers when I'm bored sometimes. I don't think of showering as cleaning myself. <laughs> you know... Showering is more like I have to Nobody get Nobody knows It's like I have to be wet For the next 15 minutes yeah, Okay but you're not gonna Drown in the shower I don't know how to swim <laughs> There's, It's not a body of water No but sometimes The shower is so intense I feel like This might be my last day You're so What are you doing Are you just like <laughs> Like you're standing Right under the water It's just right in your <laughs> eyes You're like <laughs> 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 Sometimes I can't see in the shower. It feels like I got hit with a smoke grenade. I have little discos in the shower. I swear to God, I put, I'll put on YouTube video, put it back on the back wall. I just let the water hit my back. I'm watching. So you make it an event. Oh, 100%. I well, wanna get, sometimes, if I want to get groovy. I want to get out of the shower as fast as I possibly can. You're afraid of water. Absolutely. <laughs> like full-blown, like, full blown, like you don't drink it, you don't swim in it, you don't get around it. The, my favorite part of the shower is right before it. <laughs> but Getting the, naked. I love being naked. <laughs> oh my God. But then as soon as I get in the shower, I'm like... Damn, I'm going to have to get out. <laughs> As everyone does. I hate getting out of the shower. It's like, damn, I got to go sleep, but then I'm going to wake up. <laughs> like, you, why do you hate getting out of the shower? Because it's cold, <laughs> and I'm so small. <laughs> it's like, 
Who is that guy? Ah! That's not you. It's like a bu It's like wake up. It got me worried. You know what I mean? It's so like dehumanizing to look at yourself after a shower and your fu and your butt's all wet. Oh. I hate the back. I hate my back being wet. Oh my god, your hair probably like lays down on the on the small of your back. It's probably laid like edges. You ever looked at yourself in the mirror while you're drying off? Oh, it's the. <laughs> yo, you know, oh my yo, god. I'm a grown ass man, a six seven bent <laughs> over like that. Hey, do you dry off the same way every time? Uh, no. I mine's a literal <laughs> scientific formula. Dude, you have problems, dog. Yeah, no, Everything is a formula. It's, I think there's some OCD or something. I've dried off the same way for 14 years. <laughs> you taught me how to dry off one day. Yeah. Remember whenever we were in college and you walked me out of the shower, right? Okay. 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 No. No. <laughs> you no, I did yes, not. Yes, you did. You said get your feet. You said make sure you get your feet first. You, you remember saying that. Who the hell does their feet first? <laughs> you literally grabbed my hand like this. Oh, I grabbed your, your naked, <laughs> wet hand. Help me step out the tub. You're a sick freak. You're a sick weirdo, bro. And you said, that's still kind of impressive. No. <laughs> you said... <laughs> you, you said <laughs> hey, then look... You're such a liar. Come on. You're a liar. Come on. Come on, man. You didn't help me dry my back. Absolutely not. You know I have bad joints. Never a single day in my life I say, have I hey, dried th your back. That lower lumbar. If we're not at a pool or a water park and I'm putting sunscreen on your back, not helping dry your You've back. You've lotioned me before. No, I haven't. Cameron. I have not lotioned your back. Peyton. No, I haven't done it. Peyton, I have not lotioned your back. You said, hey, Jim. Hey, back in... That reminded me of some. Oh my God! Back in JUCO, you said lotioning backs. This sounds insane. That's start. a crazy start. Uh, the baseball team had this thing called like kangaroo court. Do you remember how they used to play that? No. Okay, so basically they scared me. <laughs> uh, without getting anyone in trouble, the entire baseball team, at any given times, could be put under arrest by the, any other player. Okay. Okay. Every meet, every week, they'd have a weekly meeting, and they would it'd be like court. Yeah. And they would literally say their sentences like what they saw other people doing. And if you got, so basically, if you did something weird or disgusting, right. and someone says that in the court, and everyone votes on it, and a majority rules that that was bad, you have to pay money in a pot. And at the end of the year, they take all that money and throw it like a rager party. It's a pretty sick That's idea. That's a dope idea. It's pretty sick. So one day, my friend from the baseball team, because he would always come play with us, Gabe, he got, uh, it was either $1, $2, $3. He got a $3 arrest. Someone walked in their dorm room. <laughs> Someone walked in their dorm room and he was just in his underwear laying chest down on the floor and another baseball player was on top of him. Shirtless, <laughs> lotion, massaging his back. Uh, because, no. because he was sore. Yo. Dude, that's oh a, that's a wild thing to walk and in they, on. They said it was like the first unanimous vote ever in the <gasps> kangaroo court. Remember? We used to have yoga Wednesdays. Yes. And we would be in our little living room and A-Dogs was in his room. Never came out. <laughs> We had this roommate. So me and Cameron roommates, we had another roommate that we saw probably like twice all year. Dude, he, so like we all three, it was one room. Like you walked into our room, but we all had our sep like our own rooms. Yeah. Oh my God. He never left. And so ever. we, we would do the, um, the yoga Wednesdays in the, in the room, right when you walked into the door. Like the, the living room. room the living much. room. Oh my God. And so we, we had all the lights off. We had like uh, like ambient, ambient music, music in the background. We had our mats, and we would be like in the smallest clothes, right? Because we you probably it's, limber. It's, it's yoga, yeah. And so we were like literally in like downward dog. And Aaron, <laughs> asses just tooted up in the air. Dude, my shit was breathing. That's how bent over I was. I was yoga. Your shit was. <laughs> And so oh A-Dogs comes in, and I i swear to God, I was I lived with Aaron for like a year. I've heard him say three words. No, yeah. He, was, he opens the door, he goes, oh, no, man, what y'all got going on? <laughs> and then just walks out. And the, 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 he's 6'10". Yeah. Like, he never left his room. Anytime he did, he was leaving with laundry, he'd come right he's, back in, and he walks out. 
and there's four other guys sitting there with their asses up in the air, short shorts, dark shirtless, dark. There's like LED lights on the ceiling. There's ambient music in the background. Oh my god, that was funny. And I have, I have like, I have no mobility. So when I go into a position like that, I would moan. I'm like, oh, fuck, because it's hard to get it's hard deep. Get- We're sitting here. Oh. Uh, you walks out, we're half naked with our ass tooted in the air. We just, but like, we were so zinned, and oh as soon as that god. happened, we all died laughing. Oh my god. Remember whenever the baseball team stole the swan from the pond and put it in the pond? <laughs> <laughs> and we woke up to that Yo. shit. Hey, I have a video of one of the, of the geese trying to get inside the building, and it was like, like fighting i was so scared You're of those terrified people. of them. i don't like birds dog oh they're my god. terrifying oh my creatures. god that video on twitter of the bird in the, <laughs> in the plane <laughs> in the helicopter oh, yeah oh my and his god his legs were just like it's like a damn thanksgiving turkey was just stabbed in the middle of a helicopter dude i have a bad headache right now <laughs> oh that life sucks i'm sorry no Head- but i headaches suck i've been getting headaches every day to the point where ibuprofen doesn't even like help me anymore who <laughs> the pill say it again the name of the pill? Say it again. <laughs> Did I mess up? Say it again. <laughs> Did I make a mistake? Patiently waiting. Did I make a mistake? Patiently waiting. <laughs> I be a prof. Oh my god. Oh my god. I be a pro I be a who? Who who are you being? Who are you supposed to be? No, that's how you smell it. I be profen. <laughs> Say it? I be profen. That's ignorant. I be a profen. There's an A. You be. There's an A. I be a profen. It's I B U P R O F E N. Who says that you're the right guy on the I be a profen train? Oh, uh, let's see. That one guy hits Earth. Everyone says I be profen. No, no. You have I be profen. I be a profen. I be a pro. Are you from like like Boston? No, I've never been. I be a profen. Like n- no. I be a profen. I be profen. How do you say? You it? don't be shit. It's I be profen. I be a profen. No, you be a headache if you keep like no. I've said this my entire life. I be profen. I be a profen. How do you say Advil? Advil. So we're right on that one. I be a profen. I be profen. Zyrtec. Zyrtec. That, if that was you my list. said Zyrtec, <laughs> if you say Zyrtec and I be a profen, you don't even deserve the medicine. I be a profen. Dude, I understand there's a you there. No, it, if anything, I I buprofen would be better than I be a profen. I be a profen. You're spelling it I B E A profen. <laughs> you don't B E A nothing. You are it's I be profen. No, no. Yes, yes. I be a profen. You deserve headaches. I don't know, like at this point <laughs> you're giving yourself the headaches. But I don't understand that. Why do you skip letters? Why? You're not even saying the right letter. Yes, I am. You're literally saying I be a profit. The us, the you, uh. What letter sound does you make? Uh. Live? What letter what letter <laughs> sound does you make? Uh. Uh, uh, uh umbrella. Uh umbrella. Igloo. That's an I. That's an I. You said I said vowels. Oh. <laughs> so uh umbrella. No, I be a profit. Oh, Cam's wrong. Oh, Cam has three degrees, doesn't know how to say anything. Oh, Cam's got a bad hip. Oh, Cam's got a nasty toe. Oh, Cam's head's off kilter. So who's right now? I be a umbrella. I be a profin. I be a idiot. You be a dumbass. You be a skinny boy. You be a headache. I be a profin. I be a pancake eater in the summer. That's why every you time flannel bastard. That's why I've ever, I've ever gone to clinical virus services that they've what given the me. F- what? Clinical virus services. What is a clinical virus services? CVS. That's what CVS stands for. No, I just kind of made that up. Oh my god. <laughs> Clinical virus services. <laughs> oh my God! You had me completely, completely. Every time I've gone into sold. every time I've gone into CVS, I say, "Can I get an ibuprofen?" And they go, "Yes, sir." Point me right to the medicine. Okay. Aisle. Well, you know, if I said, "Can I have a Moongo?" They'd know I'm talking about mango. No, I had. I thought you were talking about the moon pies. <laughs> moon pie. Yeah. Can I have a waiter melon? Watermelon. Clearly. But it's that's close just, That's you intentionally being ignorant. You, water waiter. If I if I pronounce my Wa away a makes what? Ah ah yeah. Not a dumbass. If someone said a, you know you're wrong. I am. But if someone said a, and they say, "Can I have a waiter melon?" 
They, no. would, they would know exactly where no, to take you. No, you dumbass. You'd have to put that. Are they going to take you to the tires in the back? No, they'd say, that's not a word. Try again. And that's what I said to you. I'd be a profit. Because you are ignorant on how to say things. If you wanted to say waiter melon instead of watermelon, you'd have to add, you'd have to add, a, you'd have to add an I after the A. Read a book. Other than Guardians in the Galaxies and Pokemon 101. <laughs> how do you play how do you play Dungeons and Dragons? <laughs> Read a real book. Susan B. Anthony or something. <laughs> She's an author, right? Susan B. Anthony. She probably wrote something. Yeah, I'm sure. She probably wrote something she, in her life. I'm sure she, <laughs> she did. She probably signed a document. That just pissed me off. I'd be a pro friend. What's your biggest pet peeve about me? There's a oh, there's way too many. It's a long ass list. Why do you hate me? I don't. I love you. My biggest pet peeve about you is anytime I step into your Jeep, I am standing in a landfill of trash. Dude, trash isn't that big of a deal. Then throw it away. I kind of like it though. Would you like it if they were under your feet? That's why I don't put it there. And so, uh, so, so equally in the same right, I don't like it under my feet. I feel like people clean up too much. No. See, you're a dirty bastard. You really are. And that, who said, oh, I, 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 I look as, uh, taking a shower is like a chore. I think people clean up too much. I, like, you're just nasty. You're nasty, bro. You are nasty. Would you come sniff my butthole? People clean too much. I've never said that. I'm not showering. Uh, like, you're the little guy from, Rug, not Rugrats, you're the little guy from Charlie Brown with the stink cloud that just follows him. That's you. You walk around, and there's a brown, scratchy little cloud above your head at any given time. And you're just like, no, I'm not saying you. You just stink. No, I'm not saying you don't have to clean yourself, but I'm saying you don't have to prove yourself to people. No one's asking. I'm just saying I don't want to step into a damn a, a Red Bull manufacturer plant when I step inside. I literally step in your Jeep. It's like, it's like I'm the press, like making those cubes, pressing the trash down. Do you make it from point A to point B? Not safe, but oft, oftentimes, yes. Has it ever? I get out with bruises on my knees from your damn Jeep. But my apartment's clean. There's no middle console. I can't rest my elbow anywhere. That's, it. That's personal. There's trash <laughs> under my feet. But my apartment's clean. No, it's not. Dude, I went, oh my God, I went to his apartment last week. We came after the studio, I went to his apartment. When I tell you, there was like seven different types of crumbs on his table. How does someone have that many crumbs? Like <gasps> seven different meals were, had, had already been eaten and there's remnants of every single one of them. Like, you mean to tell me you don't even just, you don't, don't even just wipe them off once. I don't, I don't know where to put it. There was pizza crust, there's ranch, there's drops of sriracha, there's like <laughs> rice or some shit, there's tortilla chips, there's Doritos, there's always, always a ring of Diet Coke. Always. From one of your glasses. There is, like, there's, so, it's the Olympic rings on your, on your table. I don't believe in putting things up either. What does this, no, you really don't, oh, oh my God, that might, that might be my biggest, that might be the biggest ick, my biggest pet peeve. I like everything you to be, you don't put shit up. <laughs> I like everything to be in close reach. You do, at, the, uh, at the what? Cabin. Oh, yeah, oh my God, no, you don't put anything up. Like, I, I want my, I want my, Liv has said that forever. She said, anytime you go anywhere, there's a trail of paint. <laughs> There's a trail of trash, crumbs, sweat pile. There's but I'm not dirty. A shirt. I'm not dirty. I'm functional. I like my laundry to be right by me, my deodorant, my food, my snack for later, and some drinks. And my remote. Mm -hmm. I'm not alcoholic. I'm functional. I drink 24-7, but I, I can do things. I like this there. I like my beer here. I like that. But I don't hurt anybody by doing you that. You hurt me. You hurt your own nose. You hurt me, and now you have headaches. I'm starting to get flies in my apartment. Exactly. You deserve them. Like I, it's And the part that pisses me off is I always... It is a pride issue, because you go, you don't like it, you should clean it. And that makes me want to literally punch you right in the nose. But I don't, because I love you. But the thing is, it's just, you don't, like, you don't see the value in it. Like, I don't understand. You know, you know people literally get, like, a like a boost of serotonin when they just clean their whole house? No. <laughs> I've never gotten that. You, like, you've never experienced that, like a Sunday cleaning? No, I want to take... You wake up, throw 90s RB on, you make a little breakfast, and then you just... I'm talking absolutely go for it. Wife beater and big shorts, and you just go. No, I want to take house a nap. slippers on the whole time. I want to take a nap. Right when you wake up, you like taking naps? You're not tired when you wake up? You're a freak. <laughs> Something's not right, bro. Something's not right. I'm, I swear to God. You don't sleep. You don't eat. You eat dry shit. You, you're a glizzy this is gladiator. How I, this is how I clean up, though. I just put, like, you know how everything's near me, like my laundry, my food, my electronics, and it's all close proximity? <gasps> this is how I clean up. I just kind of Seriously. put all the things that go together in a closer pile. So laundry, food, and electronics are in the same category? 
No, I put all my electronics in one pile, all my laundry in one pile, and all my food. But they're all still right here. <laughs> my goal in life is to be like the guy from Wally, who's in like the tube. <laughs> And like everything. just sitting in the chair. <laughs> yeah, and oh everything is right God. beside it. You, you'll be the first. When they make that, I will, I will personally, personally send your audition in to be a human trial for that. Yeah. The do it all chair, and you just sit there, dude. It, just, it gives you food. It gives you sleeps. It gives you. <laughs> it gives you sleeps. <laughs> Speaking of all that college stuff, do you remember when our assistant coach knocked on our door that one night? Oh my. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. We have to tell it. I think everybody remembers our crazy assistant coach in college. Oh, my God. <laughs> One night, me and Cam were in our dorm room late at night. We get a random knock on our door. We open our door. It's our assistant coach in an unbuttoned Hawaiian shirt and rolled up basketball shorts. Big ass basketball <laughs> shorts, like triple rolled. He knocks on our door. We open it. We see him. We're like, it's a disgusting <laughs> fit for winter. What are you doing? <laughs> We asked, hey, coach, what's up? He goes, hey, man, y'all want to take me to the gas station? I mean, we're sitting there like, uh, I mean, I guess, sure. Then he goes, matter of fact, actually, y'all go to the gas station for me. Yeah. Our co he, he doesn't have a car. Like, he's living like us. Like, he's living like a student. He has a dorm room. He stays on campus. No vehicle. So we're like, all right, coach, first of all, we still don't understand your lay. I don't know what this Hawaiian shirt is. It's winter. It's 30 degrees outside. So we go, yeah, coach, what do you want? This man proceeds to go, I want a, a cut of Copenhagen black. He goes, oh, what time is it? Go ahead and give me a 30 rack. And uh, what's those long, crunchy things with, with chicken and cheese in it? And I was like, uh, Crispitos? He's like, fuck yeah. <laughs> those are good. Give me three of those. Then after he gives us that strange request, he demands us to go to the room right next to us and ask them what they want. So we, we go next door, and we knock because it's two more basketball players. We knock on their door. He opens it. Our coach is right over our shoulder. And we go, uh, do y'all want anything? And they go, well, what do you mean? Like, what? He pushes us aside and goes, hey, y'all better stop asking questions. If you want something, speak up. I'm like, why are you so yeah, angry? What is happening? What? First of all, why is your shirt unbuttoned? <laughs> so our, our teammate... So our teammates go, uh, I, I guess some Gatorades and candy. So he looks at our teammates after he gets their order. He goes, okay, bet. He turns to me, grabs my shirt, pulls me in, and then slaps his money on my chest. He looks into my eyes and says, get my shit first. If there's not enough money for them, piss on them. <laughs> I'm like, hey, coach, why did we even knock on their door? Like, why are you offering? And why is your shirt unbuttoned? <laughs> So then, as we're about to leave, he says, call me when you get back. I'd hate for you to get caught with all that. Okay, thanks. He's like, are we smuggling and now yeah. for you? Like, We get back to the dorm room. We call him. We see him walking outside with a backpack. He gets to the car. I'm like, coach, why do you have a bat? You're a grown man. Why do you have a why backpack? Why do you have a book bag? <laughs> he starts putting the stuff in the bag and goes, in case that fat-ass security guard says something, I'd hate to have to beat his ass tonight. I'm like, why are you so paranoid? Why are you so angry? It's like, why do you have a backpack? Why are we smuggling for you? So me and Cam are just distraught about what the hell just transpired for the last 30 minutes. Me and Cam go back inside to the dorm room lobby. There's a pool table. Our assistant coach beelines straight to his room. Oh my God. We go to the pool table and say, hey, guys, we got next. We're down there waiting to play some pool, about to tell our teammates what the hell just happened. He immediately pops back out, like a minute later. He looks around and goes, who's got next? So I turn to him, I'm like, uh, I do? Yeah, me and Cam. Looks me dead in my eyes and goes, well, now you're after me. We're like, no, no. We're like, not how <laughs> that works. That's we, how that works. We just did a favor for you. We're playing. We just smuggled narcotics for you, dog. We got next. <laughs> the game ends. I start to rack the ball. I take the triangle off the balls, and he's sitting there chalking up his stick. So once Cam's got the whole rack of balls prepared, our assistant coach literally picks the rack up, punches the balls. They scatter all all over the pool table. He punches the balls everywhere. He walks right up to me. It's a, we're almost at a standoff right now, like it's a fight. He looks at me and goes, you still got next? No, I'm looking at them. Cam and our assistant coach's noses were going like this. I swear to God, Cam could have smelled dead man's tongue.
<laughs> How close the they were. The worst part is, after he destroys our game, he literally just goes back to his room and leaves. I swear to God, me and Cam were like, what is happening? I swear to God, we don't see our coach for three days after that. <laughs> we're like, hey, what happened? What did we buy for him to make him so absent? When I tell you our assistant coach was absolutely insane, that man was nuts, Cam. No, yeah, he, no, he's not real. Like, he is, unfortunately, but the stuff he does is just, I've never met another human like him, ever. Probably never will. Dude, I, I'm telling you, there are so many stories about our assistant coach. Most of them are illegal. That was, like, right before the bridge of illegalness. Oh, my God, yeah. Maybe on Patreon or something, we'll tell more lives. We'll uh, tell We'll tell the, the, the stories about him. Him, but the really crazy ones. God, I wonder what oh he's doing God. now. I have no. I actually don't. I don't want to know. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't want to know. Uh, I would not be surprised if he's under a prison right now. Oh yeah, somewhere. Hope he's alive. Is I hope so too. Um, or God. anybody around him is. Jesus. <laughs> but uh, I think uh, it's time for people's favorite segment, Cam. You know what that is? Well, what would that be? Pop, Pop culture, Peyton and Cam. Cam. Pop culture, Peyton and Cam. Cam. Woo! So, uh, what do you have for pop culture, Cam? My pop culture is gonna go out to someone that everyone's calling a rat, snitch, snake, whatever. You weren't there, and he didn't snitch on me. Gonna drop the album. Hey, I was born in the suburbs, so I'm, if if something happens to me, I'm snitching too. Like I'm not gang affiliated. Yeah, but so. I, I still don't think he did. I think he did. No, that's not for us to discuss. It's we not, have nothing yeah, to do with but that. Life. It's at all, literally at all. They don't know that I exist. Yeah. But You're regardless not a part of that, the street politics. I'm not. Yeah, YSL. Um. <laughs> All right. Gonna Cam thinks I'm going to protect him in these streets. <laughs> gonna drop an album. I'm not going to lie. I saw it. 15, solo dolo, no features. I'm like, whew, this could be really good or really bad. Like two songs in, I was like, oh, this isn't the gunna I know and love. This isn't the gunna we know. It's not enough murder. <laughs> then he hits like a six song stretch. Yeah. Banger after banger after banger. And I was like, oh, you did it again? Yeah. He, I mean, but gunna, I, I could be a little biased. Gunna's my, probably my favorite artist, to be honest. Yeah. Just has been for a minute. But yeah, he dropped an album. I was super excited about that. I listened to it probably like three times already. I would say, uh, "F you mean?" Yeah, <laughs> that one's one of my favorite. Rodeo Drive. Rodeo Drive's great. Uh, Bread and Butter, obviously, that was the single he dropped. But it was, I was just excited because one of my favorite artists dropped an album. So that's my pop. Culture. I've never Go really, listen to it if y'all like hip hop and rap. I've never been really a Gunna guy. I know it's either you. I feel like Gunna's one of those guys. No, I take that back. I was gonna say you either really like him or you don't. That's like a eat. Yeet, you either Yeet. like him or you hate his music. I think everybody, except unless you're like a 13 year old boy that grew up like and you got allowances every like week, everything you ever wanted. Yeah, do. those people really love uh, Yeet. Yeah, but if you're just like a normal person, it's like you understand what you're listening for. Like yeah. it's like this you're is you're like not looking nonsense. for any content. You're not looking for any to learn anything. No, no hints, nothing. It's just straight music, great production. But no, Gunna's like if you don't know who Gunna is and he comes on a future. 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 Feature. Yeah. If future. His fantastic. features, I really like. Future I, it's Gunna hard for is me, unreal. It's hard for me to really listen to a full, cohesive Gunna album. A whole album? It, I, it's kind of hard for me to listen to a whole album of anybody. Oh, no. I love listening to albums. I mean, like The weekend, yes. I can listen to an entire album. That's like art painting. That's like a Picasso. Yeah. Yes. But, oh, Picasso. <laughs> oh, Picasso. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, that'd be mine. I'll let you get the floor. Uh, p p p p pop Picasso. culture for Peyton is going to be, and you showed me this in the car. Now, if you don't know... Um, the Nuggets won uh, the uh, the uh, the NBA Finals. They won their championship this they year. Did. Congratulations Shout to out the Yoke. Nuggets. Shout out Jamal Murray, too. Shout out to Good Jamal Lord. Murray. I, whenever I met Joe Budden, he called me Jamal Murray for three hours. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. I, remember that. I was like, I'm not him. Yeah. I don't have his money, his skill set. Or his beard. Like, <laughs> Well, at that time, I didn't. No, no, you still don't. Like he has a, No, your beard's better. I'm oh, thank you, better. thank you, thank his you. This is weird. Remember he had that, like... Your beard is weird. Yeah, your beard is weird. <laughs> but if you don't know, so uh, the Nuggets coach, his name, Cam, help me. Uh, Mike Malone. Mike Malone, after they swept the Lakers, has been going on a full press run about how much he hates the Lakers. I understand why. It's it's because basically Cause in the, this, the media. Yeah. So the media every time, like the Nuggets were winning, but like every headline was about it wasn't Nuggets win, it's Lakers lose. Yeah. Like it's always about Lakers because because the Nuggets aren't like the a most historic franchise. Team. Most exactly most historic franchise, most fan base ever. You're gonna get the most clicks when you talk about the Lakers, and then you have the greatest player of all LeBron time, LeBron James. So it's like. Obviously, headlines are going to be about the Lakers, and that sucks. And you can understand his frustration. I definitely understand. But basically, that was in the second round. Yeah. Like, they went on to win two more series, and he talked about the Lakers the and LeBron thing. the whole time. And so, LeBron stayed quiet for all of that talk, talking trash. And then, during, uh, I assume it was the parade when Mike Malone, is that his name? 
Yes, Mike Malone. Mike Malone said uh, it had a little another little jab at LeBron and the Lakers. LeBron posted on his Instagram a picture of him. Where was he? Italy, France. Uh, some, I don't think he said. He just said, "I've been in Europe for a couple weeks." Europe, and so and he has a picture of him waving a flag, and he had this nice caption. What did I did I mess up? He said Europe, like Italy and France aren't in Europe. Like Europe, uh, I the honestly continent. have no clue. It was well, it was just funny. I know I have no clue where Europe is. Europe is the continent. Like Italy and France are a part of like Nevada. In Carolina, North Carolina, are in the United States. Are they in North America? You just said a city and a state. North Carolina and Nevada. In Nevada. Nevada's in Las Vegas. No, it's the other way around. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> I was so serious, dude. I was so confident I know, I getting you it. wrong. <laughs> um, but LeBron, he was in Europe. Had this fire caption under that picture. Oh my! And it said, and I'm butchering it, but he said, "Enjoy your light." Because I'm the sun and I'm always on or something. He said, yeah, he goes on. He was like, I heard you've been talking about me still. Da 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 da. Uh, congrats on winning. Enjoy y'all's light for now. Just know I'm the sun. I stay on forever. Oh my God, that is one of the hardest things, Lebron. Here's your flower. It's like for saying it is so equally fire. as corny as it is just like dominant. Yeah. And like, hey, let me put a reminder on you real quick. Yeah. That flower is snapped. That rose is literally decrepit. That Reminds is a, me. That Oh my God! I cut that out. You got to. Well, you gotta like clip that before you get rid of it, so we can send it to him and scare him. Oh my God! <laughs> but yeah, that was that was a, one of the cleanest things I've ever heard. That was like a bar. Like that was like some paint yeah, polaroid that, that literally captions. Was out of like that was out of like a a diss track. Yeah. Like that was it was go Bron. Yeah, dude. How many more years do you think he has in him? Three. Realistically, bro. Can you? But did you hear what you just said? Three more. That man plays three more years. It's insane. It really like it I don't really know if is. he has another championship in him, but he has another three years. Well, this champion, bro. The championship all depends on his damn team. Yeah, for sure. But like, he's gonna do him. Literally, this is the crazy part. And, this, and I can get on LeBron at any given topic, any given. You need to make moment. a full Patreon like LeBron podcast. I know, but basically, I, I'm gonna just do the goat debate video. But yeah. basically, bro, he even this year, year 20, before he hurt his ankle, mm -hmm. he was averaging 30. Yeah, I know. Think about that. Yeah. 20th year, yeah. he was averaging 30 points before he twisted his ankle. And then he was out for like several weeks. And then he came back and he still averaged like 22 or 23 after his return. Yeah. It's just, it's stupid. It doesn't make sense. It really is stupid. It's like def defying aging. Like, it's crazy. Sorry to interrupt, but I should get a rose tattooed on me, right? That looked sick. You'd be like, I'll, uh, everyone else? I want to get a yellow rose for my mommy. <laughs> God bless you. Yeah, um, jeez. <laughs> I think that's a good episode, Kev. I think it was fantastic. Hilarious. I feel like we've been recording for we, like we got in the college bag. Oh my god, dude! I, I, all the OG fans are gonna appreciate the we college. Could, we stories. could literally do a ten-hour podcast over our junior college experience. Like it's it, it's it was a one big massive fever dream. I love, I miss it sometimes. Hey, for Patreon. I was thinking, and Cam's head of Patreon, everybody go over to Patreon if you're not there already, or if you're there, make sure to renew. Cabin, uh, Crazy Cabin Chaos just came just out. Dropped. It's fantastic. It's, it, it, if it you gives y'all give a little a four-minute sneak peek into into what we did over last weekend. Yeah, in, in a cabin in the woods in Oklahoma. It was a very fantastic time. We got to go back. It was, it was mythical. It was but like we weren't, it wasn't real. On Patreon, I, I really want to go back to our old Juco. And I want to give them a tour Ooh. of everything and say, this is where this story happened. This is Ooh, where this story happened. That's fire. Let us know right now if you want that. And then go subscribe to the Patreon. And it's definitely something we can do because it's only a hop, skipping, and drive away. And I really want to go back. I really miss that campus. I know, but no one's there from our time. That's what I'm saying. Like, what would we just walk up to random people and be like, yo, can we just, like, use your room real quick? Hopefully they know us. But I'm saying, oh, 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 I see what you're saying. Yeah. Saying. And they'll be like, yeah. Okay. No, that would be, that's a fantastic idea. Yeah. Could, yeah. Give me some, slap me some sand. Thank you, thank you. Well, guys, let us know if you want that. Be sure to go subscribe to the Patreon. Shout out to the watch party right now. If you're coming to the live show June 30th, Dallas, Texas Southside Music Hall, the after party is at PM Lounge. It's completely Lounge. free. Also, I get a lot of questions saying, do I have to have a ticket to the live show to go to the after party? Absolutely no. not. You do not have to have a... It's just for everybody. If you're in the DFW area, come party with us at PM Lounge after our show in Dallas, Texas, Southside yeah. Music Hall. We are mere days away from our live show. We are. I'm we so are excited. Less than, less than two weeks. That's crazy to say out loud. It is so crazy. Guys, Lazy. if you're coming to the live show... Bring as much energy as you can. I want you to be loud. I it's, want you to have fun. Going, it is going to be 
an amazing night. Just know that. Yes. Just it's know so that. many surprises for you guys. So it's you're going to love it. Just know that. We can't wait to meet all you guys. And then for the other cities, we promise we are working on getting a tour together. It We're getting all a little work. details in. We're getting them all printed out right now. But that's going to be it for this episode, y'all. You already know every single information piece of anything, any question you have to want to get answered is all linked right below you. Scroll down a little bit. Make sure you leave a like first. Look at everything linked. Our Instagrams, Linktree, Patreon, everything is in there. Okay. Also, be on the lookout. That summer merch is coming soon. We're waiting for it to oh, get shit, from. Uh, we're getting ready for. We're waiting for it to get from 98 degrees to like 106 to drop it right because it's only hot as ball sack here. You got to be patient. We did plan on having the summer merch out already, but you got to understand we've been so. It's such a transitional period for us. We're growing so much. We're trying to scale the business more to have more content for you guys because that's the most important thing. Not selling y'all a piece of merch. Yes. So we're trying to make the 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 the, uh, the content as good as we can. So we're please also, be patient. We're also trying to make June 30th the best night for everybody. Every single thing is just perfect people don't like you don't understand how much work goes into these live shows and like business of it like Oof. yeah the fun of it like performing is fun but the business but y'all aren't here to hear us complain we <laughs> promise we're gonna get everything done yes. we love doing it we're so thankful for you guys and cam go ahead confuse the casuals get your good karma oh the my code God. for this week c-a-s Oh, 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 no oh c-a-c oh my lord c-a-c i don't know what the s is C-A-C. college assistant coach Crazy assistant Crazy. Coach. I was close. You're, very, I get you're getting close. close. You're getting close. I get close. Crazy assistant coach. Guys, we love you so much from the bottom of my heart. Share this podcast with everybody you love. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Spotify <laughs> listeners, we love you. I have such a big headache. I needed to take a um, an ibuprofen, jackass. Ibuprofen. Shut Remember up. when I take Wallabies, I'm making it home to Christmas, and we will see you next time.